it has been about an hour since I made those other videos and look at the heat pump now. Not only is there ice and frost build up on the condenser coil, but the snow is also sticking to the condenser coil. So I'm hoping it'll defrost pretty soon. Though there doesn't seem to be any crystallization on the um, suction line. And the snow isn't really accumulating that much yet. Just a little bit. and inside as well. It is really snowing. I got my truck parked at the other end of the parking lot. I am just going to move my truck over here, open the rear slider and just wait it out. I will be back. This is the best, or at least one of the most comfortable ways to get a video of a heat pump defrosting when you don't have a nice warm friend or relative's house to hang out in. And my personal trainer just pulled up. Hello? Hey, come take a look at this. I want to show you why I'm always out here trying to film these things defrosting. Look at it. Whoa! That's why I'm always out here trying to get a video of it defrosting. That's cool. I don't know if they freeze over like that. Does yours do that? I don't know. Did you get the video of yours? No, not yet. I was thinking about that this afternoon, but I didn't have the time to do it. I already worked out and I'm just chilling in the truck waiting for it to defrost. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know exactly how much of that is snow and how much is ice and frost. That seems to be a co like a combination of the two. starting to get choked off. Now it's really starting to get choked off. Yeah, the air's definitely not coming out of the top here. Even if it shuts off, I am going to stick around and wait for it to come back on again and defrost, because typically what I've noticed when I'm filming heat pumps to frosting, if they shut off, if they're really frozen up, if they're even, if they're like slightly frozen up and they shut off before they can defrost, then oftentimes if there's little enough ice or frost built up on the unit, then it will 
will just melt away and it won't even need to defrost. There is enough ice and frost built up on this unit it would seem that if it were to shut off, I don't think it would all melt away before it could turn back on. Oh yeah, this thing's gonna defrost soon. Don't know how much battery uh, life I have left in this thing. I'm going to do one little more, one more little pass around the heat pump, and then I am going to shut it off because I don't know. There's no way. If, there's no little thing that pops up on the camera that tells you how much battery life you have left. There's just this little red flashing thing that looks like a battery that comes up when the camera's about to die. They don't have any things that show you you're halfway dead. But yeah, look at that. I'm going to get it this time. Oops. Being chipped up a little way. All right. I will be back. This thing just has to defrost. What I'd really like to do sometime is like a time lapse, like sped up of a heat pump freezing up. Reversing valve down there. Yeah, now it's almost not coming out of the top, it's just coming out the sides right here. What time is it? Almost 3.07 p.m. Come on, you little bastard defrost. It's actually pretty quiet for reciprocating. There's like no airflow right there. I'll be back. For a second, it sounded like it got louder. And it's kind of hard to tell, but the um, freeze over is like slowly inching its way towards the bottom of the unit. Operation Steam Show continues. Obviously this thing probably has interval defrost and they probably have it set for like 90 minutes. So I've been out here, I was in the gym for almost an hour working out and I've been out here for probably 15-20 minutes so if it is set for 90 minutes it should be defrosting any time now. I don't think I've ever seen a heat pump get this frozen before defrosting.
And this thing is amazingly quiet for a standard efficiency unit with a reciprocating compressor. And let me zoom out. It is like solid white. And this has a GE fan motor. Don't know how well you can see that, but it has a GE fan motor. So it has the good fan motor in it. If it goes any longer, it might rival the um, most frozen heat pump ever from last winter, the 88 Heil. I bet that one pain I um, made that video of a couple weeks ago gave one hell of a steam show and it finally defrosted. Jesus. And I have the rear slider in the truck open so I can hear the telltale whooshing noise it's going to make when it does go into deep thrust. I mean, it's going to go into deep thrust, and I'm not going to get impatient and drive off this time. I am going to get this SOB defrosting. I don't think I've ever seen this thing that's frozen before. I really should not be wasting the camera battery. I'll be back. I backed the truck up a little closer to the heat pump and I put the tailgate down so I can have a better view of it. With the truck a little closer, I can hear it a little better and have a better chance of actually hearing it when it goes into the defrost. Yeah, that thing is like almost totally covered in white. And you just heard that door shut. Um, I think that's part of the reason this unit is staying on so long because there is a constant flow of people walking in and out, opening and closing the door. This unit like does the back room or something. All I know is that there was not a heat pump here before this unit was installed. There was no central air heat in this part of the building, and this is a 2004. That was about the time it was installed. It was all rooftop before the two split system carriers were put in. Come on, defrost you bastard. I'll be back. It is definitely more frozen now. Pretty much reaching to the bottom of the coil. That is one frozen heat pump.
Not much snow accumulation elsewhere though. Even the suction accumulator's frozen. Look at that. That is definitely one frozen heat pump. This will be one hell of a steam show if it stays on long enough. Look at that. I wonder how well it's actually heating the building right now. I'm surprised it hasn't defrosted yet. I'm really surprised it hasn't defrosted yet. And then when it defrosts, the runoff is going to go right along there. I've seen frozen heat pump runoff when I've come here early in the morning before. Jesus. Something needs to be tightened in there. All right, once again, I'll be back. This has been a Stamped Octagon production.